now we're going to unbox the RNIB CW222 to be honest this is not quite the watch that RNIB order because this is the black face version as RNIB order the white face version so it comes in the future the next time you order them they will come in a postal box bubble bag and of course RNIB provide their own instructions so once you take it out of the box it's in sleep mode and to wake it up you press the two o'clock button which wakes it up so we'll press and hold that till it starts to spin at high speed and like you used to see on Blue Peter we'll put that to one side and here's one I prepared earlier so we can go through everything we need to go through comes with a screen protector obviously once it gets to the right time again this has four buttons two o'clock button protruding four o'clock button protruding eight o'clock menu button hidden and ten o'clock function button hidden but as I say the two o'clock time and the four o'clock button protrude so to hear the time you press the two o'clock button once the time is 4.35 p.m. to hear the date you press the four o'clock button today is Tuesday June 28th year 2022 now these are very good watches the um, battery life is extremely good on, on these um, the only thing, and we can't overcome it with software, we've gone to the manufacturer and said, if for some reason it gets knocked out of sync, the resetting is a bit of a pain, but it doesn't happen very often, and the quality of the watch way outweighs that inconvenience. The four o'clock button is your menu button. We'll go through those. You need to press and hold it to enter the menu, because if you just press it and let go UK time updated. it will tell you that and the 10 o'clock button will tell you the alarm, alarm is off. so it just tells you alarm is off if the alarm was set it would tell you what time it was set for and if it tells you the time you know it's set to go off so to set the um, well we'll go through the menu so press and hold As you hear the watch tells you what to do, so we'll press the 10 o'clock button to set. Press two o'clock button to set hour four o'clock button or minute eight o'clock button to confirm. So we'll set the alarm for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven o'clock AM. And we'll say seven fifteen. did tell us to confirm by pressing the 8 o'clock button confirm the alarm time is 7.15 a.m. so if I go back to the 10 o'clock button which I explained tells you the alarm time the alarm time is 7.15 a.m. so you know the alarm is on set for 7.15 going back to the menu button press and hold again to enter We've done that, so we'll go into the next. So we'll press and release again the eight o'clock button. Alarm off, off. Press ten o'clock button to set. So we're going to turn it, the alarm on or off. Press two o'clock button to on. Four o'clock button to off. Eight o'clock button to confirm. Four o'clock button to turn off. Alarm off. Confirm. So we'll go to the next menu option which will be chime, press and hold. Set alarm, alarm on, chime on, off, press 10 o'clock button, two on set. Press 10 o'clock button. Press 2 o'clock button, two on, four o'clock button, two off, eight o'clock button, two on confirm, chime on. Now I'm correct in saying that this should tell you the chime. Um, or well, the chime is on from 7am to 
till 10 p.m. We're the only company that can do that with our watches. Uh, we'll turn it off. Today is Tuesday, June 28, year 2022. Well, that's not turning off, that's the calendar. So we're going to go back into that because I spoke too long before choosing it. Set alarm time on. I know what to do, 10 o'clock button. Confirm that by the 8 o'clock button. Confirm. And then we'll go back to the menu, press and hold again. Set alarm, press 10, oh, alarm on, off, chime on, off, global signal selection only when you visit these countries. Press 10, oh, clock button, 2 on set. Press 2, oh, clock button, 2 on set, 8, oh, clock button, 2 on confirm. So, 2 o'clock button. Now I've done that fast, uh, we'll just go re we'll redo that. Germany. Obviously, if you were going to Germany, you'd select it. Japan, 60 kilohertz only. That's only a frequency that works in Japan. The USA has got four settings. USA Pacific, USA Mountain, USA Central, USA Eastern. And then you can go back to UK. UK. Now, if, if I confirm that, it will say the signal's not being picked up because it'll do it. So don't worry about that. So we're going to confirm that. USA time updated. Well, I've pressed the wrong one now, so we'll, I'll change that later because the hands will be spinning now. Press and hold. Set alarm, alarm on, chime on, global signal selection only when you visit these countries. Press 10, oh, clock button, two on set. Set time, press 10, oh, clock button, set. Set time means you can set the time manually. So if you go to somewhere like Tenerife for a holiday, and you can set the time manually by doing that. And again, you'll press the 10 o'clock button. Alarm is off. Again, I've done it too, been too slow to do it. But trust me, that's what happens. Go back to the menu. Set. Second hand alignment is where you reset the clock if it's been knocked or for some reason the hands and voice have gone out of sync. Also you would do that when you change the battery. Um, it's a bit of a pain but we have um, a video of it. We've done a thing, a little sketch thing that you can get. Um, we'll send you the link to that. But it's quite a lengthy process. It's quite easy for us to talk you through it but I'll just tell you what you basically do. To do second hand alignment it's great if the hands are at quarter to twelve or half past eleven or something like that because they're, if they're on at five past twelve you've got to s stop everything at twelve o'clock so it takes some time for the hands to go around there. Uh, I'm not sure where we got to now, but I'll just go back and see. So it's quarter to five, which is a long time for it to spin around. So what you would do is you'd go through the menu until it says second hand alignment. You would, then it would tell you to press the 10 o'clock button like it always does. You would press that and then the instructions, uh, I need to check what the RIB ones say. But what you need to do is press and hold the two o'clock button for 10 seconds, press and hold the four o'clock button for 10 seconds, then go back and press the two o'clock button until the second hand starts spinning rapidly. And as it approaches midnight or midday, when all the hands are going to be at 12, you would stop it by pressing the two o'clock button. And then you advance it second by second by pressing and releasing the four o'clock button. And once you have all the hands at 10 o'clock, sorry, at 12 o'clock, you press the 10 o'clock button for five seconds, let it go. Two things will happen. It'll either stay at 12 o'clock because it's looking for the signal, or it will start ticking and still look for the signal for the next 25 minutes. If it doesn't find the signal, then it will just keep on ticking or spin to the time the watch was made 
and look for the signal during the night. We always tell people leave it on their windowsill. But honestly, most of the country, you can wear this watch, put it on your bedside cabinet and it will pick up the signal. As you see, we've started it spinning. We're not going to watch it all the way around. We'll uh, stop in a second or two and it will rejoin when it gets to about five to 12. So we've stopped the watch now with about uh, 35 seconds to go, which was lucky because it's really important you stop it before because if you miss it, we will go all the way around again and it's a pain. So we're going to advance it by, as I said earlier, pressing and releasing the four o'clock button. Andy's going to shout, tell me when it's getting there. That's because I can't see this. So it's moving forward, yeah. A bit jolty. Okay. We're getting nearer Seven. now. Five. One more? Yeah. Dead on? One more. One more. Okay, so it's all in 12, which is what we need to do. So now we need to press that 10 o'clock button for five seconds. Nice and hard. You can use a biro or a pencil or a blunt drawing pin and then we let go and what's it doing? Still. So it's now looking for the signal and it can take up to 25 minutes to find it. it usually finds it in about 10 minutes but um, that's how you do the second hand alignment. So we'll put it there and then uh, as I said any questions fire away.